I shed a tear, it made me emotional. I lost it for a few moments. And then I realised that we are all here today. And you know what that's for? We're here for our children and our beautiful grandchildren and all those beautiful youngsters of all races, creeds, colours and religions that we want them to have a future like we had a past. And the only way that that's going to happen is by everyone coming together and by everyone understanding that this movement that we're building is going to be huge. It's going to be massive. And instead of the tail wagging the dog, from now on, the dog is going to wag the tail. And we are the dog. We are the dog. And before the election, I'm going to say this out loud. I support reform. I supported reform. And I still support reform. But I'm going to be honest and say, where are they to support this man today? They should be here. Now, where are you, Nigel? Come on. We want you here. You should be here, you belong here. We are the British people. And guys, what can I say? I can only finish by saying that a lot of you come up to Tommy and myself and other people and say thank you. But it's us that is thanking you today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being brave. Go home, tell your friends there's nothing to be scared of. They have to come out, they have to stand up for our children because if we don't fight this fight and win it now they're going to have to do it in the future is that what you want to leave them? nothing special no. I'm not going to give them the air let's time. win this together thank you everyone Oi, what a blazer <laughs> next up someone else who I'd say has been the rising star of YouTube this year Maya Tusi. Come on! Good afternoon, Britannia. A few weeks ago, a month ago, the last time we were in Westminster, I talked about the crisis of birth rate. I urged all British Christians to start having babies that night. Hands up if you've actually done it. Uh, try not it. many. I did warn the men not to have too much beer that day. <laughs> all right. There's a bit of a confusion here today. Some people out there don't know exactly why we are here. There's a small group of far-left activists, champagne socialists, who've done a gathering. There's a gathering nearby in Westminster. They call it counter-protest. Usually you do a counter-protest to a protest. This is not a protest. This is a festival of Britannia. We are here to unite the kingdom. We are here to do two things. One, celebrate this country and its values, but also talk about the threat. Of course, this kingdom, this country, is still one of the best countries in the world. You know how we know this? We got millions of people from around the world who still want to come here, legally and illegally. You can't blame them. The problem is that the system and the establishment have not been defending our values. So you can't expect the newcomers, even if they want to integrate, you can't expect them to do it easily. It's our job to make a positive case for Britain, to put people who are from here first, look after your home first, the British natives first, and support other patriots in other countries as well, from America to Israel, Canada to Australia. Now, to say one thing that's a little bit more negative, we have a lot of threats. We've got external threats, we've got the ideological threats, we've got Islamism, everything, wokeism. But I think our biggest, our worst enemy is ourselves, our own society. A lot of people complacent. Some people in the establishment complacent because they don't care. We have to make a positive case. Right now, this movement that we've started, thanks to Tommy and everybody else, 
is about changing the culture. Stop talking about politics. I know a lot of people talk about politics. It's not about politics, it's about the culture. While we do that, the role of media is important. That's where I come in, and other people like Paul and many others. We spend a lot of time criticizing the corporate media like the BBC, Sky News and all that. But the system plays you all the time. They give you new channels. GB News, the home of free speech, allegedly. Talk TV, these channels, who are supposed to be counter channels, have banned some people on this stage today. They boycott us. They want you to think they are different to the corporate media. There are some good people working there, some good presenters. They don't have the freedom. Ofcom, the advertisers, the corporate money behind it. They don't have flexibility. Then that's why we are here. 2CTV is growing because of you guys. Paul Forbes is growing because of you guys. This guy. I want to say a massive thank you. Once again, go home, have babies. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media. Right, what's the darkest stain on our history? Islamic rape gangs. You may have all seen as well, I want to thank Urban Scoop. There's a lot of organisation that goes on behind the scenes. When anyone sees a documentary I make, I take the credit. There's a hell of a lot of people who work very hard for it. There's a hell of a lot of people who worked hard to make today possible. And you may have seen Urban Scoop has a new journalist. Let's introduce you to her now. Good Sunday! Good Sunday!